Hello everyone. I am Dr. Hasrina Mansa. I am from Faculty of Civil Engineering, University of Technology Mara, Shah Alam. Today, I am going to share with you the different forms of tall building structures. This is the part 1 video. Let's start with the introduction to different form of tall building structures. Okay, students, how are you today? I hope you are fine. Before we begin, let's go through the current 15 tallest building in the world. Are you ready? Do you know which building is currently as the 15 tallest building in the world? Any idea? In 2020, the Changsha IFS Tower T1 has been listed as the 15 tallest building in the world. Let's all here learn some fact on this tower. The building is located in the prime area of Jifang Road in Furong District, the Changsha IFS Tower, T1 complex. This twin tower development is based on Harbour City, a hyper-connected retail development in Hong Kong. The development features two super-tall skyscrapers, with Tower 1, rising 452 metres, and Tower 2, rising 315 metres. At the base, a block-sized podium contains a mega mall of 230,000 square meters, generating triangulation between the office uses above and transportation infrastructure below. Next, can any one of you guess which building is currently is the 10 tallest building in the world? The answer is Taipei 101. Let's hear some fact on this tower. Taipei 101 represents a worldwide precedent for sustainable skyscraper development. It achieved a LED Platinum certification for operations and maintenance in 2011, an impressive feat for a tower of its size and complexity. The tower rises from its base, in a series of eight-story modules that flare outward, evoking the form of a Chinese pagoda. Hold the world record in three of the council, on CTBUH. That are tallest to the structural top 508 meters, tallest to the roof 448 meters, and height occupied 438 meters. Taipei 101 contains a 728 ton tuned mass damper, a large spherical steel pendulum that offsets lateral movements caused by strong winds. The tuned mass damper is located in a large multi story cavity near the top of the tower. This location is ideal for countering overturning forces, a necessary precaution in a typhoon prone part of the world. Nearly every aspect of the building's design is steeped in symbolism. The number 100 symbolizes perfection, and 100 plus 1 represents further breakthrough and innovation, and the new beginning. OK, class, now, number 5. Which building is currently is the fifth tallest building in the world? Do you know the name of this building? This is Lot World Tower. The tower is programmed with a greater variety of functions than is normally found in a tall building. It contains retail components, offices, a seven-star luxury hotel, and an office tell. The building's top ten stories are earmarked for extensive public use and entertainment facilities, including an observation deck and rooftop cafe copyright. Elegance of form was one of the prime objectives following the desire of stakeholders to bestow a beautiful monument to the capital city skyline. Number 3. Anyone? Which building is currently listed as the third tallest building in the world? The answer is Maker Royal Clock Tower. At the heart of the holiest Islamic city, Maker Royal Clock Tower brings an air of modernization to the bustling historic center of Mecca. The tower was developed as a component of the King Abdulaziz endowment project and provides comfortable accommodations for devout Muslims that make the journey to the city every year during the Hajj period. It is conveniently located adjacent to the Grand Mosque, which can accommodate up to 2 million worshippers over the course of the event. Number 2. Anyone? Any idea the name of this building? This is Shanghai Tower. Placed in close proximity to Jinmao Tower and Shanghai World Financial Center, the new tower rises high above the skyline, its curved far paragraph ad and spiraling form symbolizing the dynamic emergence of modern China. But its twisting form goes beyond just creating a unique appearance. 
Wind tunnel tests confirm a 24% savings in structural wind loading when compared to a rectangular building of the same height. Shanghai Tower is one of the most sustainably advanced tall buildings in the world. A central aspect of its design is the transparent second skin that wraps around the entire building. I'm sure, for the tallest building in the world, almost every one of you may know this answer. The tallest building in the world is Buria Khalifa, in Dubai. There are many interesting facts about this building that can be found in the link shown here. OK class, basically all the information regarding tall building can be found via Tbu website. In the website, you can find information like this. Looking up to the sky, and, still can see the tall buildings. Students, how can you define a tall building? According to the Council of Tall Building and Urban Habitat, CTBUH, there is no absolute definition of what constitutes a tall building. It is a building that exhibits some element of tallness in one or more of the categories that we'll show next. The first category is height relative to context. It is not just about height, but about the context in which it exists. For example, in case 1, the highlighted blue color is a 20-story buildings. In this situation, the tallness of the 20-story building in case 1, is outstanding the context in which it exists. However, if the similar 20-story building, is now being allocated in case 2, we can see that, in case B, the 20-story building may not be considered a tall building. For example, Kuala Lumpur City Center, KLCC, or also known as Petronas Twin Tower, located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, can be defined as tall building due to the context in which it being surrounded with. Meanwhile, a 20-story building may not be considered a tall building in a high-rise city such as Chicago or Hong Kong in a provincial European city, or, a suburb, this may be distinctly taller, than the urban norm. And the last categories, is the tall building technologies. If a building contains technologies, which may be attributed as being a product of, tall, for examples, specific vertical transport technologies, structural wind bracing as a product of height, etc then this building can be classed as a tall building. The CTBUH defines super tall as a building over 300 meters 984 feet in height and a mega tall as a building over 600 meters 1968 feet in height. To summaries, tallness is a relative matter, it cannot be defined in terms of height or number of stories, it is just a matter of a person's or community perception, thus measurable definition of tall building cannot be universally defined. However, from a structural engineer point of view, tall building is defined based on its height, and when the building height is affected by lateral loads such as wind and earthquake actions, to the extent it is important to the structural design of the building. Why build tall buildings? So. Why engineers build tall buildings? Are they build them, just because, they felt like to build them? Alright, let's look at some of the reasons. First, demand of business near to city center. The primary gain for business of locating in a city center is proximity, or agglomeration, and this offers three main benefits to businesses locating in city centers. These are because, 1. The ability to share inputs and infrastructure such as roads, rail and street lights. 2. The ability to recruit from a deep pool of workers with relevant skills. 3. The ability to exchange ideas and information, known as knowledge spillovers. 2nd. Scarce of land. For instance like in Hong Kong and Brazil. With high population, and limited land area, thus, these countries need to build high building to accommodate the peoples. Next, the third reason, for corporate image and prestige. For example, with the present of Buria Khalifa in Dubai, nowadays, has brought enormous prestige to the city. And the fourth, 
is the landmark of the city. The presence of tall building can increase the tourism attractions, for instance like Kuala Lumpur City Centre, Malaysia, Buria Khalifa, Dubai and a circumflex. Taipei 101, Taiwan. Modern tall buildings began in 1880s, for commercial and residential. The first is, Ames Building, Chicago, U.S. Sale, 1889. Since the dawn of history, man has been trying to build the tallest building, tallest tower, or tallest structure in the world. Seems to be much prestige in being home to the world's tallest building, large subcategory of towers, claiming to be the tallest hotel, tallest office building or tallest apartment building in the world. During the first 90 years of last century, the USA dominated the race for the title of the tallest building in the world and constructed a range of famous buildings the most most famous examples are the Empire State Building New York City the World Trade Center New York City and Sears Tower Chicago the Empire State Building was completed in 1931 the tallest building in the world for 41 years the World Trade Center in New York consisted of two towers one World Trade Center and two World Trade Center. One World Trade Center was the first one to be completed in 1972. Two World Trade Center was completed in 1973. So as of 1972, the World Trade Center took over the title of the tallest building in the world from the Empire State Building. In 1974, Chicago's Sears Tower was completed. And as of that moment, it was generally seen as the tallest building in the world. So the World Trade Center only held the title for two years. Sears held on to the title of the tallest building in the world for 22 years, until 1996. After the Sears Tower, which building do you think is the next tallest building? In 1996, the Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, were completed. From that moment, on a sort of media clash was unleashed. All over the world people debated about the question, which one was the tallest building in the world? Sears or Petronas? You see, Petronas creates its formidable height partly because of its huge spires on top. Sears Tower, however, has the highest occupied floors. So, some people in the press, suggested that the Petronas Towers, used a trick to obtain the title of the tallest building in the world. The controversy between Sears Tower and the Petronas Towers went on until 2004. In that year, 2004, the Taipei 101 Tower in Taiwan completed. It is now widely known to be the tallest building in the world. Underneath the Taipei 101 Tower, about 660 feet away from the tower, there was a fault line, hasn't been active in 45,000 years. However, in September 2002, five people are killed when an earthquake shakes two cranes loose from the building. Dislodged construction cranes tragically take five lives. Due to the controversy between the Petronas Twin Tower and Willis Sears Tower, on the question about what is the tallest building in the world is become more complicated than meets the eye. For example, do we take in account spires and antennas? As we already know, Petronas Towers claimed the title of the tallest building in the world in 1998 due to the spires. As you can see in this slide, the height of spires tip for Petronas Twin Tower is 451.9 meters were higher than the height of the roof of Sears Tower. That is 442.1 meters. In fact, if the spires were considered measured in calculating the height, thus, the Sears Tower will end up with a total height of 527 meters. Therefore, to end this controversy, the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat made a compromise. They defined four categories for measuring tall buildings. One, Height to the structural or architectural top. 
two, height to the highest occupied floor. The third is the height to the top of the roof. And the last one is height to the top of antenna. And how can you differentiate between building and tower? To be considered a building, at least 50% of its height must be occupiable. Telecommunications or observation towers that do not meet the 50% threshold are not eligible for inclusion on CTBUH tallest lists. OK class, in the next lecture we will learn on structural form of tall building. This is the end of the video part 1. The next video will be on the different form of tall building structures. Thank you for listening.